Anyone who identifies as black or brown, indigenous, LGBTQ, disabled, or any other marginalized identity to stand for a moment. Y'all look great. <laughs> Take a look around at yourselves. I am firm and empower the beautiful work it took for you to get here. I know that you've made it because someone cleared the way for you or you cleared the way for yourself. And I challenge each of you to not wait for anyone's permission to cut down the trees in the woods Throw was talking about. To clear the path for yourselves and let the sun in for you and whoever walks alongside you. And here's your charge. If you identify as white or cis, straight or able-bodied and financially secure, you can stand. Don't be scared, come on now. Here's your charge. Do what you must so that you do not become the trees in someone else's forest. Do what you must so that you never sow a seed or water the mud or even make a clearing for anyone hoping to be the trees in a black woman's forest, an indigenous person, Latinx folks, South Asians, TGNC folks of color, or anyone who appears along these intersections. This means recognizing your implicit biases, addressing them, facing them as Thoreau faced his own woods. Inconvenience yourselves to uplift the voices of marginalized people and know that in that, you're making space in the clearing for your liberation as well. It is up for all of us to walk through this wood together and cut down the trees so that this forest shines brighter and brighter and brighter. Do this, class of 2018, and together we can fell these tall trees. Y'all can sit down now, it's okay. 